Thursday, as Max is questioning, which means it's time to cruise with Courtney. We are heading up Highway 6 to Waco to check out a pizza place that's known for their toppings and a distillery that's producing some of the world's best whiskey. We are eating and drinking our way through Waco. Our first stop is Papa Rolo's Pizza. They've been a staple since the 60s. Best pizza you ever had. The Papa Rolo's is own a uh, unique style of pizza. I mean, people are used to like Chicago style or our deep dish. We really like to say Papa Rolo's is kind of like a Tsueco style pizza. The Rolo special is their most popular pizza. It has plenty of pepperoni, pepper, sausage, and more. Well, the crust is kind of like a uh, thin cracker style crust. It's really hearty. It holds up to the amount of toppings that we put on there. Because most pizza places, they'll kind of you know, scrimple on toppings a little bit, but we just like to pile them on. This local spot has stood the test of time for good reason. All of us from the cooks, to the dishwashers, servers, everyone that works here takes us uh, pride in the fact that we're one of Waco's uh, you know, all those eldest establishments. When you're ready to wash that pizza down, Walden Balcones. Balcones Distilling is not far away. So Balcones Distilling started um, in 2008, um, started making single malt whiskey. Since then, they've added bourbon, blue corn whiskey, and rum, but they still take the same pride in each craft barrel. We, we do all of the mashes and washes here on site. Everything ages on site. Um, and then we actually have distillers that will taste everything. That quality control seems to be working. They've been named the best distillery in the world. You can sip in the tasting room and get a tour of the facilities where the award-winning spirits are made. We'll actually mill them here on site and they'll be stored over here in this grist case, basically until we're actually ready to start the brewing process. The single malt whiskey is the bread and butter of Balcones, but the first whiskey they made, Baby Blue, is a staff favorite. Baby Blue was the first Texas whiskey made since Prohibition and the first whiskey in the world made with blue corn. It's going to be a little lighter, a lot younger uh, whiskey. Uh, it's only aged about seven to nine months. From a Waco tradition to something that's putting Waco on the map, you won't be disappointed with the trip up Highway 6. Cheers. Courtney Burris, cheers in on a cheers in on an early Thursday morning. Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad way to have a uh, Thursday. We're That's all so impressed with that distillery though. Yeah. Since 2008, yeah. rated one of the best in the world. That's incredible. Yeah. I've got I've got a whiskey connoisseur friend named Gerald who okay. I, I, I'm sure has tried that before. I've got to ask him if it if it really is the best. Yeah. But single malt. Since I'm 2008, like, it's a way to I'm go. I'm like a trip up to Waco is what we've got to <laughs> and do as a crew. That pizza looked pretty good. BBTM really crew did. day yeah. at the distillery. Exactly. <laughs> Our producer Jacob says that the pizza is really, really good there. Yeah. Too, yeah. So. so if you, you know, Courtney's if you couldn't opinion take Courtney's word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take Jacob's. <laughs> well, uh, let's.